The Grain Tracker line of scales from Digistar includes scale kits for planters, drills, and air seeders. A scale on your seeding equipment helps you better manage your planting operations in many ways. But don't take our word for it. Let's hear what growers across the country are saying about Digistar's Grain Tracker scales. We like the scale on the planter because that way we can split boxes of both seed. It's an accurate scale. For farms that I have on shares, I can keep track of what I use on each farm. The other factor is getting the rate set right. Because you can set it, you can set the drill according to the book and it'll never be right. But the first batch we set the transmission on the scales according to what the book said and we were probably 15 percent over you know well at that point you just start backing it down until you get it right and at today's prices with the seed costs it's just i mean it's, it's a no brainer uh, it just costs too much to put this crop in to be over applying and, and it's a good way of being able to check my population and make sure everything's working right when we're planning in a, in a quick, easy way. That was another thing that was real nice because my wife tenders me with the seed tender all the time. And uh, via radio communication, she'd holler at me how many acres you got left. And I'd tell her, I, when we got down within 10 acres, I'd say, hey, I'm getting close. You're, you're gonna have to be in the field and help me out. And uh, that, there was a, she wasn't wasting a lot of her time and I wasn't wasting my time because I, I tell her that we got 10 acres, it's going to be within the next half hour, I'm going to be without seed or 15 minutes, something like that. She'd pull in the field and the big decision is, okay, what end of the field do we start filling at? Yeah, when you have to plant a certain 20% of your acres in some instances of refuge, all you have to do is calculate the seeds per pound, get your weight you're going to plant. Um, of course, then we divide by two and put that much in each uh, hopper and we plant that many acres of refuge. One of the bigger, bigger things with the scales, we like to keep our variety, variety segregated. And um, if without the scale, and you try, if, if you're trying to split a mini bulk or a 50 bushel uh, seed tote, it's practically impossible for it to come out the same. And this is this is probably one of the biggest uh, you know, helpful things we had right here is that we could split the bag up and or the box up and. And when, if we knew we wanted to plant 80 acres, we could uh, weigh out 80 acres and our planter would be empty at the end of the 80 acres. The problem with putting it on a tender is you're going to weigh what you put on a, into the drill. You know, you're always going to be able to basically keep your inventory until you want to move and there's some left in the drill and you're not sure how many is in there. Also, if you put it on a tender versus a drill, you've got to you've got to drill that tank empty before you can actually figure how many you're putting on to the eight. You know, this way, you if you got the scales right on here, you go in, you drill four acres, and you figure your rate, and you adjust it, and you drill another four acres until you're you know you've got it right. It'd be really hard to do it if the scales was on the tender versus the drill. We wouldn't ever be without scales. No, I'd never go back to drilling without a scale.